Okay, let's go on to the next question. Now we have established what our covalent bond is. Now there's a humongous misconception that so many students get confused about. Um, simple molecules such as these molecules here um, that we've already learned about, hydrogen gas, carbon dioxide gas, chlorine gas, water, oxygen gas, hydrogen chloride, these are all simple molecules. Now, although they have strong covalent bonds between the atoms, they actually have low melting points, which is why they are either gases or liquids at room temperature. So why is it, explain, why is it these simple molecules, such as fluorine or oxygen, why do they have low boiling points? I'm, I want to see what you already know. Can you please answer that in the chat section? I want to see what you already know. Um, off you go. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to answer that. Go. Twenty seconds left. Um, boom, let's see what you got. Okay. Um, less energy is needed to break the bonds. You get one there for saying less energy is needed. Less energy required to break the forces. One mark there. Weak intermolecular forces. You get one mark. So now we're putting them together. Um, no, definitely not that. It's not weak forces of. Um, it's not weak electrostatic forces. They are non-metals, so require less energy. Less energy for what? That will get zero marks. Strong attraction. Less intermolecular forces, so less energy is needed to come overcome. Um, potentially to. But where are those intermolecular forces? And using the word less is wrong. Um, don't say the word feeble. Um, Phoebe's probably got the best answer there. Oh, thank you, Abishan. I appreciate that. Okay, let's, let's go through that. The majority don't understand, but you're halfway there. Let's look at properties of simple molecules. So we're going to look at the video, melting and boiling point of molecules. Um, not enough people, I wasn't confident, I wasn't happy with the level there. So number one, you need to know that simple molecular substances, such as the substances I've already spoken about, such as oxygen, water, carbon dioxide, they have low melting and boiling points. Now we've already been told that in the question, look, low boiling points. The question is why though, you need to explain why. And that's what we're gonna focus on now. So the chemical formula of water or molecular formula of water is H2O. Here I'm drawing displayed formula of, of these molecules. Look, H2O. And this line represents a covalent bond. So these covalent bonds are between the atoms and they're very strong. And these molecules are distinct. They are individual molecules that are separate to each other. Okay, You only have two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen bonded together. Therefore, in the chat section, can you please tell me what are in between the molecules? I will show you admission. Um, thank you for your question. What are in between the molecules? What are, thank you, Fata, intermolecular forces, okay? The word inter, the word inter means between. If you were to define inter in, in, in Google, it means between. Molecular means molecules. So by saying intermolecular forces, you're actually just saying, thank you, forces between, oh, Forces between molecules. That's what you're actually saying. Forces between, between molecules by saying intermolecular forces. So in between these molecules, we have weak forces, okay, called intermolecular forces. Now, because they're weak, I'm going to just skip a little bit. I want to go, because they're weak, and I'm teaching that bit. Um, because they're weak, this means when we heat this liquid water, little energy is required to break the intermolecular forces. So this means that 
in this case is water. Water easily evaporates. So look, very little energy or heat is needed to break the weak intermolecular forces in between the molecules. So these intermolecular forces between the molecules are very weak needing little energy to break or overcome them. That is the language you need. Notice 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It doesn't require, it requires this much information to, to answer the question. No, covalent bonds are not molecules. Covalent bonds are the bonds which hold the atoms together. The molecule itself is the group of atoms held together by um, covalent bonds. And com gen compounds, specifically compounds, are generally is what, um, where you have ions with ionic bonds between the ions. That's the true definition. But the term molecule and compound are interchangeable. They're often used by, by people to mean the same thing. Okay. I would like you now, based on that, to please attempt this question again. Explain why simple molecules such as fluorine or oxygen have low boiling points. Go. Thirty seconds left. Stop. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you've done. Okay. Um, I hope, thank you, Manja. I hope that helped. Um, no, don't refer to bonds. That's wrong. It's wrong. Don't refer to bonds. Am I too high up? I, I never spoke about bonds. There. Requires less energy to break the weak intermolecular forces between the molecules. Do not refer to bonds. Okay, Alicia, because they have weak intermolecular forces between the molecules, which require. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finish that off, please. Well done, Kassar. A weak intermolecular, not between the bonds, between the molecules. But it's not between the bonds. I need to stress that and I need to go, look, these are the covalent bonds between the atoms and between the molecules, there are weak intermolecular forces. Let me go back, look. Between the molecules, there are weak intermolecular forces, not between the bonds. That's just wrong. Good, well done, Fatima. Well done, Phoebe, excellent. Well done, Barn Copper. Where are the weak intermolecular forces? Well done, well done, Vin, well done. No, no, Abishan, no. Weak intermolecular forces between the molecules requiring little energy to break. So I want to give the model answer here. Look, weak intermolecular forces between the molecules require little energy to break. That is all you need to say. Weak intermolecular forces between the molecules require little energy to break. 